Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to be coming to you guys with a map breakdown, basically just a default hold for each site on the map, just so you guys can give like a basic idea on how you guys should just, like get a guideline basically on how you guys should be holding it, uh, so you know what to do, how to hold, that kind of thing. Uh, overall, just give you guys an experience the way you understand what you should be doing and what, how it's done in higher elo without like too much stratting and that kind of stuff. Um, so basically just try to run this strat basic strats and maybe you can win some more ranked games. Uh, first I'm going to start with the reinforcements and I'll show you those. First you're going to be reinforcing the two walls and freezer facing towards piano and the one bathroom wall. Then you're going to be reinforcing the two bathroom walls facing piano. Then you're going to be reinforcing the top red walls facing towards red from piano. Then you're going to be running, reinforcing the single wall on a cocktail on the right side. And you're also going to be reinforcing this wall. This was more of an optional wall. I just like to have it in case they open up this freezer wall here. Uh, usually you can play off this wall, open up some holes, open up some angles. Maybe you want to put some bullets in the wall, that kind of thing. Uh, basically just a good anchor spot. Now that we got the reinforcements out of the way, I should cover the five operators that I suggest that you run for an upstairs hold on cafe. The five operators that I suggest are Smoke, Wamai, Jaeger, Maestro, and Valkyrie. All of these operators are all versatile in their own right and all have perfect positions on the map and I'll explain to them right now. Your job as smoke is seconds. to end up opening this, 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 this. Most importantly, make sure that you give the a a player that will end up playing in this corner the shield that you'll be having in your pocket. And ultimately playing in here. Basically your job from this position is to either control the white hallway push and also you're able to throw your smoke canisters to control the default plant spot that end up being most of the time either in this trash or when this bar is opened up by the Wamai later on or by yourself you can also deny the plant in this position here. As Wamai, your job is to impact that and this. Granted, Smoke is able to also open the holes here, but since he has the extra impact, it doesn't hurt to help him. Your starting position is going to be inside of Piano or Cigar Lounge, as some say, and you're simply going to play in here behind the shield that will ultimately be there, but just isn't there because I'm the only person in this custom game. But ultimately, your position is going to be in this right here, playing behind the shield, throwing your my gadgets, and playing here until either they destroy your shield or you feel overpressured, in which you're able to rotate all the way back to White Stairs, where you're able to assist with Smoke in the White Hall push or on pallets where you're also able to help smoke with a push with, from a different angle. As Valkyrie, your job is incredibly simple. You just have to Increase throw your Valk cams and potentially play below. As for where to figure out Valk cams, I recommend these three spots. Here underneath the cart, that way you're able to watch the walk-in from here and on new balcony. Here on top of the light where it's harder to be seen for most people and also supplies you intel inside of Scar Lounge if you need to assist with the nitro cell. And lastly, in the lamp here, that way you're able to have visuals on white stairs and white hallway push-up to assist your team. Your initial job is to start below with Valkyrie using your cameras and potentially try to get a nitro cell kill on people either repelling into ticket and pushing there, or if anyone is aggressing on your OMI in any of these positions. And if you're unable to get a nitro cell here, you're always more than welcome to use your other camera that you placed to try to help with the dying plant. Next, your job with Maestro is relatively easy as well. You're more than welcome to try to assist Smoke with making some of the holes, which are two recommended Maestro Cam spots that you can use for this site are here and here. Both of these Maestro Cams are usually able to deny the default plant. Uh, usually this one is a lot more sneaky and not able, a lot of people to catch on to it, which gives you free sight into side of shop and onto new balcony while also being able to deny the plant for trash. And ultimately, you end up playing right here. Uh, a lot of teams refer to this as the Maestro wall, just because it's more than common than not. The Maestro players end up playing in this position. Uh, you're able to set up either your bullet holes here, that way you give yourself multiple angles. Obviously, you can make these punch holes, but bullet holes work best. Uh, and you're able to just play this position. Try not to peek too often, because your utility is incredibly important to your team, and helping with the dying the plant. Last, but definitely not least, we're going to cover the job of the Jaeger. Mainly, you're going to place these three ADSs, just more often than not, they're the most helpful for your team. ADS placement is going to be here, here, and here. But also, let's not forget the barbed wire, here, and here. Your primary starting position, more often than not, will end up right around here. Uh, a lot of teams refer to this as either Shiko or a lot of other names, but usually if you start close to this new hatch, you're able to pick off drones, and once you pick off a drone or two, you're more than likely going to be able to rotate back to either this position behind the bar, where if anyone tries to push up from new, you're able to have an ankle from in here. You can also create punch holes or bullet holes or anything inside of this dresser right here. Um, I'll bring it on, but in this dresser here, you have a line of sight into shop. 
Uh, so some people like to play a position here. They also sometimes tend to play a position here. So you can get behind the bomb completely on the ledge here and hold the angle in the shop. And lastly, they also like to play a position here. So you put up this angle right here. This is actually a very common used angle that I like myself personally. And you simply have a angle directly into shop just from here that a lot of different attacking players are not going to So you're able to get a free kill from this mission. There you go. And I think that about covers it. Granted, all of these strats are com completely subject to change. A lot of teams might want to run Malusi or any other operators that they feel more comfortable, but this is just my ideal lineup for a cafe upstairs. Next, we move on to kitchen. Now that we covered the upstairs site, time for us to cover kitchen. First, let's start with our reinforcements. Reinforcements go here for the freezer hatch, here for the freezer walls, here in the middle of kitchen, here in kitchen facing towards red, here in kitchen facing bakery, and here in prep facing towards the main door. Now that we got our reinforcements out of the way, let's cover where we're going to play as smoke and the other operators that we will be playing here. As the five operators downstairs I suggest are Maestro, Jaeger, Wamai, Cade, and Smoke. Time for me to show you guys how we would be playing Smoke in this situation. Only holes for this site that you will be needing are going to be here, here, and here. You will be placing your shield here, and for positioning you will start here. In this area, your main job with the Cade on the board, you're going to be trying to protect this area from any attackers who are attempting to push through here and challenge any players either on the shield and or trying to shoot the cade call off the wall. In this position, you are more than welcome to use your smokes to burn more time and attacking utility. So if they are able to stun you or if anything like that, you will use a smoke, pop it, deny the location. But if they are able to get the wall, you're going to be able to rotate all the way back into the deep kitchen before they actually get the wall to play the position here in which you're able to still throw your smokes to deny plant. Next, we will be covering the position of Maestro and discovering where he will be playing. Our first Maestro cam is going to be up there. And our second Maestro Cam is going to be here. You're going to stack your barbed wire here, and ultimately end up playing here. Your job as Maestro here is either to use your cams as denial for plant, and or give your teammate who's playing in prep intel on their push if they're able to destroy his shield, while also you're able to, when smoke makes the holes, play an angle up here. It looks a little something like this, where you're able to deny any type of push that comes through prep and assist your players in the front of sight. Next, we're going to be discussing Cade. As Cade, you're going to place your utility here and here. The reason for the second Cade being in this position makes it so it's harder for the te enemy team to destroy them vertically. And for your positioning, you're going to be playing right about here. From this position, you can help not only your Smoke and Wamai, who ultimately be playing in this position, but also watch for Twitch drones and deny any vertical play with your Nitro Cell. The next operator that you're going to be covering is now Wamai. Uh, his job is pretty simple. There's going to be a shield placed right about here where he's just going to play behind from smoke. Uh, there'll be, he'll be given two EDSs from the Jaeger, and basically his position job here is to sit and play his gadget behind the shield and waste as much time as possible in utility so the attacking team has to struggle to clear his position here. He's also going to be pocketing the two impact grenades to clear any potential ace charges that might get on the wall, given the fact that they might be able to get the Cade even though it's relatively hard. If they are able to clear the cave, but mine can simply use his impacts to impact trick the cave of the aces after it's opened after one tick and get pretty much all of them. And they'll pretty much be forced to either rotate to the red double door or into funnel through his prep where he should be well suited to take care of any attack. The last, but definitely not the least operator that you're going to be bringing is going to be the Jaeger. Your job here is relatively simple. You're going to be placing your utility here and here. Your barbed wire is going here and here. The location you're going to be playing is here. Basically, your position behind the whiskey bar or the bar here is to basically hold up for any attempt at a backside push from coming from the attacking team. Basically, since you have your barbed wire and bread, you have that sound indicator. You're also able to create the line of sight within the bar to also give yourself versatility in the angles in which you can peek anyone coming down the brown staircase or through reception door. Also, granted with the smoke, we'll have a rotor here, I'm just not able to do this because I'm by myself, but you also can set bullet holes to the left side of that, or the right, depending on perspective, side of that 
hole and put bullet holes to watch the small bakery window hop in and anyone who's holding to potentially the red hallway for your swing. Finally, time to cover our tertiary site or our last site, which is going to be reading dining. This site here is going to be our last site that we have to go to, assuming that we win both of our other two sites. Uh, more often than not, people don't tend to go here, but actually, statistically, this is the best site to run in ranked as it does have the highest win rate. Granted, that's also based on a lower like players percentage, but still, this is the last site that we will be covering in this video. Uh, for the operators, I suggest a Mute, Maestro, Valkyrie, Jaeger, and Smoke. I'll cover each of the positions where each of those operators will be playing and be placing the utility, starting with Mute. But before we get into the Mute breakdown, I should show you guys where the reinforcements go. Reinforcements go here on the reading wall, here on the north dining wall, here on the north pillar wall connecting to red hallway, here on the freezer walls, here on the left cocktail wall, here on the right two cocktail walls, and lastly here on the hatch. As mute, your job is fairly simple. You're going to be placing your mutes here, 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 and here. You will also be popping this hatch here, creating an angle here, and opening holes here. All of these holes that you'll be making will be either to help you for denying plant or helping your team deny the enemies from clearing the people upstairs. As where the hatch that you opened earlier, there, is going to help with your teammates who are going to be playing up here when they need to rotate out. Ultimately, you'll be playing downstairs and reading where you can make more holes here facing under the freezer wall where you can deny any attempt to hard breach the wall while also having those other holes that you made earlier to help your teammates upstairs and or use your nitro cell to deny any points of positions downstairs but mostly you're going to be sitting inside of reading where there's going to be holes in this wall preferably made by the smoke later on but playing simply right about here and you'll be playing for your nitro cell where you're able to get any frags based on the valkyries intel and or your teammates calling out where positions of enemies are. Next, let's cover the job of the maestro. Current position here and here. Both of these cameras supply significant intel with the first turn position being on to the planter because this is where most people end up planting but the second one giving your team infinite intel, infinite and harder to destroy intel upstairs for anyone pushing down long bar and anyone playing in pillars or crouch walking up brown stairs. Your position for this place will be here. Um, most people end up playing here. Um, these walls will be reinforced and you also have ADSs later on. You're not indefinitely playing upstairs, but you are up here to help your Jaeger, who will ultimately be playing over there with the shield later on that I'll describe. Um, for a safe route back though, I would recommend just dropping here, and next thing you know, you're back in sight. Uh, if that's not an option for you, I would not recommend running across that doorway, because more often than not, you will die. Uh, but some, unless your Maestro Cam is destroyed, you should have intel for anyone potentially playing up here or denying your drop from pillars where you're able to just rotate back to site and find another comfortable position inside of the room. Next, we'll be covering the job of Valkyrie, which, yet again, is going to be relatively simple. Uh, your main job will be to try to secure a Nitro kill on anyone pushing up on your players upstairs, but for starting camera positions, I suggest here. That way you're guaranteed intel for anyone playing inside a cigar lounge. Here. That way you have intel on anyone pushing through bar. And here. That way, you're guaranteed intel on anyone pushing through your 90 hallway, attempting to crouch walk up on site. Your starting position will be something around here. I recommend barricading this door just so you can avoid any potential rushes, but basically your job downstairs is going to be playing on your valve cams and seeing if you can secure any nitro cells on anybody playing either through bar, in piano, or anything like that. Uh, anything to really help out your team get an early pick, that way you can also help out with the mute who can also have a nitro cell and you and him could collaborate together to try to get a nitro cell kill on anyone pushing upstairs and you have intel to support it. Next, we're going to be covering Jaeger and where you're going to be playing and how I suggest you put your ADSs. For your ADSs, I suggest one goes here on white stairs to assist the player that will be playing here. And your other two go here to protect the shield that I'll show you in a second. Lastly, I think you for a gadget upstairs, you should not recommend running barbed wire, but instead a bulletproof camera. 
that you can place here. That way, you have a bunch of intel on anyone pushing on you. Uh, for any of your Maestro or your Valkyrie cameras end up getting destroyed, you have yet another piece of intel that the attacking team will have to deal with when trying to clear you out from above. And ultimately, you'll be playing here. There will be a shield position in this area here with the hatch open behind you for a retreat. Basically, your job here is just to waste a bunch of time, see if you can potentially get a frag, but more than importantly, shoot drones and waste time and retreat and value your life over anything else. You're not playing this position to die, you're not playing this position for kills. If you get a kill, that is good, but it's not what you're going for. Your main purpose up here is to burn as much time as possible and utility and basically make the attacking team waste a lot of stuff on you like, so you're able to make it so they have very little time to play vertically and clear out your defenders throughout the site while also playing your life that way you have another gun for when they try to go to execute to deny the planet. And for the last position, and probably the most important position, I'm going to be covering smoke. Here I'm going to be covering all the lines of sight that you'll be making in smoke as well as your position. As smoke, you will be making holes here, here, and here. And you'll be placing your shield here. The reason that you want to place your shield facing this way instead of the other way is that it creates an actually like a slightly more like small angle for the attacking team to see your Jaeger here. And just every inch really matters. Um, really, when you're peeking this angle from here, it seems like it's a lot easier to fight. When you're coming in from here, it's a very, it's a, it's much more difficult angle to contest it, it, to compare it if it was turned the other way around. It also gives you the prone angle here. It's, just, it's overall just feels like a better shield when you turn it this way around. And just gives your Jaeger a lot more opportunity to kind of retreat safely without actually being seen, uh, just to the hatch. Lastly, you'll be playing here. Uh, along with the Jaeger and Maestro playing upstairs, you're playing onto the white stairs here. That way you're able to deny any attempt to push coming down this hallway. Uh, really, if you see, because you have an ADS here, if anything burns it, you're just going to toss a smoke and burn as much time as you can so your Jaeger and Maestro can focus on their bar push-up while you contest anyone trying to push down their white. Granted, if you're being overwhelmed, you're more than welcome to retreat or even call for assistance from the Jaeger who is easy to rotate from the shield and also line across so that anyone pushing down Whitehall has to deal with two angles instead of just one. Overall, I really hope that you guys like this video and really do appreciate some of the ideas that I gave you. Hopefully you guys are take, able to take some of these into your ranked games, that way you're able to win more on your cafe defenses. If you guys would like more videos like this, more than welcome to let me know below and I can make you guys all their maps or if you guys want me to cover attacking strategies or anything like that, I'd be more than happy to do those kind of things for you. Uh, that being said, that is all I have for you guys on the cafe map breakdown for defense. Uh, like I said though, I can make more for other maps or even attacks. It's just when it comes to attacks, they're a lot more situational. That's the only reason I didn't include any here. Uh, just because attacking maps, like even like this, there's multiple ways depending on what the operator bands are and what kind of pushes you want to do and what kind of operator lineups and stuff like that. It's, it's a lot more situational. That's why I only cover the defenses. But if you guys would like more videos like this, just let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't be afraid to like and subscribe, uh, anything like that. But outside of that, I'll see you guys next time.